Right, it's four o'clock, uh, so it's time to start. This is the PhD celebration in the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science for the School of Chemistry and Physics and the School of Life Sciences. And we're here to celebrate the 29 PhD graduates in these two schools and to say well done for such, such an exceptional achievement. Uh, my name is Sally Frost. I'm the Public Relations Manager for the College, and I'm your host for this afternoon. Uh, we're online because of COVID. It's unfortunate. We would much rather see you face-to-face -face in a big UKZN graduation bash, but uh, we'll do the best we can and honor your very special achievement online. Just a few um, rules for Zoom. I'm sure you all know Zoom recording. Okay, I have co-hosts who are fiddling, so co-hosts, please don't fiddle with my recording. Um, right, Zoom, please keep yourself muted unless you're speaking, otherwise it makes background noise. Uh, you can have your video on and off. I suggest you have it off if you want to save bandwidth. Uh, right hand top of your screen, you can toggle between speaker view and gallery view. I would recommend speaker view. And if you would like to chat to each other, congratulations, graduates, please use the chat box in the middle at the bottom of the screen, and you can have a conversation going there. Uh, the meeting has been recorded, so afterwards we'll post it on the website. I'll also send it to you so you can share it with your friends who weren't able to come here this afternoon. Uh, my co-host is Lena Rajpal. If by any nasty chance load shedding hits, uh, we will carry on and Lena will take over, but I have backup, so I'm sure all will be well. Right, I think those are all the uh, particulars over. Let me share my screen now. And I'll share the program with you, which has disappeared. So give me one second and I will find the program again. Uh, there it is. And back I go and let me try share the program. Uh, right. Uh, just to show you the order of proceedings for this afternoon. Uh, we're going to start off with a fun little video. I asked uh, all of you to send in clips of what it felt like to finally be a doctor. And we put those together in a, into a little composite. So we'll show that to you. Uh, then our DVC Prof Modi will have a few words. And then we'll move straight into the exciting part of the proceedings, which is the reading of your citations. Uh, which will be done by the academic leaders of research as they were the ones who did all the hard yards behind the scenes. Um, your deans will have a few words and then our dean of research will close, close off. So without further ado, uh, I will share the video that we have made. Uh, please may I ask you if your video is on, your personal video to turn it off because it interferes with the bandwidth. Uh, and it can sometimes makes the sound go a bit slower than the picture. So I'm now going to play the video and enjoy. Uh, if I can find the video. Right. There we go. I'm just looking for it here. And there it is. And here is your video.
I'm really grateful to UKZN for conferring me with this PhD degree in agricultural economics. It was really an exciting journey. I learned a lot. I improved myself in terms of how to do research for development work. And I hope I will contribute more to my country, Zimbabwe. Thank you. I'm very excited that I've reached uh, the very end of my academic journey. It was uh, a great journey, a journey with ups and downs, but finally I'm here to celebrate my, my day. You know, yesterday when I went through the program and I was uh, seeing familiar names of the colleagues in, in the college, and I was very um, emotional and teary because we didn't have it easy in the past three four years with um, COVID, load shedding, and sometimes instrumentation. But above all, um, as much as uh, the, the degree or the period itself was hard, uh, we were just uh, grateful to be alive and, and pushing through. And I just want to say congratulations to everyone. Enjoy the moment. Take leave if you have to. Spoil yourself. And thank you to the college for this special celebration for doctoral um, uh, graduates. I would like to thank everyone who contribute to this achievement, especially Dr. Njoya, my supervisor, for his diligent academic support and guidance. Uh, many thanks also to all academic support and technical staff from this School of Agriculture, Earth and Environmental Sciences for the numerous assistance during the course of my study. Thanks. I'm happy and uh, quite elated to be among the graduates today. Uh, for me to be one of the graduates, it's uh, a dream come true. I equally want to thank my family. Of course, most important my wife and my children for being there for me, for the endurance even while I was away in the study program. I thank them and I appreciate them. So to my colleagues that made the journey here in UK then a memorable one, I appreciate them and I thank them. All. So thank you all. I'm so glad and elated it's my graduation today. A journey of three years is now completed with a PhD in computational astrophysics under the supervision of Professor Yinzima, one of the very best from Cambridge University. Thanks to UKZN for giving me the opportunity to come to learn the techniques and the ethics of good research. And it is great to finish the PhD and to be graduating this season. I am uh, feeling excited at the milestone and uh, the opportunities that uh, this new qualification opens for me. I'm uh, humbled to be counted amongst those that uh, are found deserving of the qualification. And it has absolutely been a very difficult journey, starting from 2018 through to 2020, when I completed my degree. It has absolutely been a very difficult journey, but all thanks be to the Almighty Allah for making it easy for me to scale through all the others. I thank the University of Kwanzaa, I thank South Africa as a country, and I also thank my country, Nigeria, who produced me to be a very good candidate for the program. Thank you very much. And I also uh, congratulate all of my colleagues who are also graduating today with me. Being a student in Nigeria Engineering has shown me the light and that's made take me to uh, to make me one of the recognized researcher in that area of electrical engineering, most usually power quality in our system. Thank you. And also at my time in UK I was fortunate enough to lecture and teach so I have come in contact with various number of students. I really do hope that I've impacted everyone's lives and also my colleagues positively and I've left a good impression at UKZN. I really do wish everyone the best going forward and uh, with hard work, determination and discipline, you can achieve success in anything you set your mind to. I'd like to say thank you again for giving me the opportunity and uh, 
at the end of my undergrad degree in pure mathematics, applied mathematics and physics, I said I needed a challenge. And now that my doctorate is done, I still need a challenge. <laughs> Remember guys, be good, do good and make a difference. Everything, it has been a journey, not so smooth, but challenging. But I thank God it's, uh, it's a success. I thank my supervisor, I thank my colleagues, I thank uh, my friends, I thank my family, especially my parents, I thank my loved ones, everyone who has been a blessing to me in one way or the other. I thank everyone, I thank um, the support I've had in the research, I thank God the support I had spiritually, I thank God the support I had, even friends who could or who were contributing emotionally also. I thank God and I and I'm happy. Um I'm a doctor. Hillary Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Albert Modi. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor for the College of Agriculture, Engineering and Science at the University of KwaZulu Natal. This college represents about a quarter of all the students that we have. Rightfully, it occupies a very important space, not only in the university, but also in the country and the world. We live in a time when we need to solve problems, and problems require science, engineering, mathematics, and a lot of other technologies. It is amazing that uh, we are here to celebrate the success of people who went through very difficult times. I know that 2020 for many of them was the final year, but it was a very difficult last moment to complete their degrees because the whole world was affected by a pandemic. I want to thank them and congratulate them for hanging in there and making it. You have succeeded head and neck. I know that we are currently celebrating the success of our students. It is very important for us to also celebrate the success of the people who supported them. This is a moment of success for their parents. This is a moment of success for the guardians and everyone who contributed to their studies over many, many years until this moment. We thank you very much. We are particularly thankful to the people who supported the research of our postgraduate students. These people are going to make a difference. Thank you to everyone who supported the University of KwaZulu-Natal. We are very, very proud. Continue to represent this university after graduation. Right. I hope you enjoyed that little composite video and congratulations to all of you. You all deserve to be very pleased with yourselves. You can now call yourselves doctor. Right. We're now going to go into the meat of the, this afternoon's celebration, which is the reading out of the citations. So we're going to start with the School of Chemistry and Physics, and I'm going to call on Prof. Bernard Awaga, who's the academic um, leader for research within the school. So what will happen is that Bernard will read out your citation and once he's finished, if you would like to say a few words, you'll be given an opportunity to show yourself, unmute yourself, uh, say what you want to say, and then we'll go on to the next citation. So let me share my screen. Um, if I can find it again. And that's the life sciences one, which we don't want. Uh, so let me find the chemistry one. And when you want things to go smoothly, then you lose things. 
chemistry share. Okay, let's just stop for this little technical hitch and I will find it. Let, let's also hope, Sally, let's also hope that he can open it himself too. So that he'll no, be able he to doesn't. It. He doesn't need to open it. It's me okay. who's opening it. Okay. I can find it, yeah. It's sitting on my desktop, but it's not opening. Say, so do you want me to send it to you? No, I've got it right here. Let's try again. Um, Let me know, Sally, if you want me to share. No, I have it. Uh, <coughs> and hopefully now it's sharing with everybody. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> We always have glitches, but we soldier on. Right, Bernard, over to you. Okay, thanks, Sally. Uh, good evening uh, to all our graduates, all guests, and all uh, academics in the school, including Sally and her team. Uh, it's a great evening for uh, you young guys. I remember many years ago when I was in a similar position, uh, it was such a such a wonderful feeling to just know that you've completed your PhD and you can be called doctor. Um, as um, as we you all know, it's not been an easy journey. Um, you guys worked hard, and I think this group and the next maybe two or three groups that will be graduating. Uh, will be a special group always. Uh, for we know that you endured um, a year of almost no work um, during the pandemic. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you guys made it. You worked hard. You achieved your goals. And uh, what is remaining is just for you to go out there and seek new stuff in life. You know, just be yourself. And um, uh, for some of you, stop being bossed around by us. Um, just think about it. There's no more red marks on your manuscripts that will come through, apart from those who have not finished publishing their work. Um, no more broken instruments uh, to cry about. Um, no more delayed bursary payments and so on. But it doesn't mean that uh, such challenges end now. In life, you'll always find such. And I think the most important thing is, you know, find a way of dealing with it and making the best of the situation, which I think most of you did. And that's why you are here today uh, as doctors. Um, uh, I always remember uh, my graduation. They always played this James Brown song at the end, which um can we play just a little bit of it uh for you guys to hear which uh always made the graduations so special that's enough and um i i hope you can play some music uh from yesterday and during the week just to you know celebrate uh your achievements uh this uh I, I can't uh, st uh, not uh, I can't stop without saying congratulations first of all to you but also to the people around you that made this possible your supervisors uh, we share always in your achievements um, your parents your siblings your friends and even your colleagues in the lab a big congratulations uh, let me not take so much of your time and go straight to uh, reading the citations. And the uh, lucky first one is Dr. Adeniran Omolara, uh, whose uh, thesis was titled Absorption of Selected Organic and Inorganic Pollutants onto Crystalline uh, Nanocellulase and Graphene Oxide Based Materials. Uh, the storage of potable water arising from rapid industrialization, the increase in the world population and improper disposal of effluents 
have posed threats to human and animal health. This research aimed to develop safe and economic nanomaterials to remove toxic, toxic pollutants from aquatic bodies via adsorption. This study has shown that crystalline nanocellulose and graphene oxide-based nanomaterials are effective for the removal of organic and inorganic pollutants from aqueous solution. Uh, the supervisors of Adeniran were Professor Srikant Babujana Lagada and Professor Bishe Susanna Matinshi. Adeniran, if you have anything to say, this is your chance. She is here, so if you want to unmute yourself, or if you're feeling shy, then no pressure. Maybe she cannot get um, bandwidth, Bernard? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, we'll move to the next person. The next one is um, Dr. Akintayo Damilola Caleb, um, whose his thesis was is titled Kinetic and Mechani Mechanistic Study of the Ring Opening Polymerization of E. caprolactone and lactides using zinc and copper carboxylate complexes uh, of uh, nitrogen donor ligands. Mr. Quintel's dissertation focused on the synthesis, structural characterization, and catalytic performance of zinc and copper two carboxylate complexes. And this was for the ring opening polymerization of cyclic esters. The thesis clearly shows the influence of stereoelectronic properties of ligands and coordination geometry on the catalytic activity and polymer properties. The research output has been presented at local and international conferences, and research articles are currently under review in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, the supervisors are the one that I know, Professor Owaga, and Professor Srikant Jonalagada. Um, congratulations, Akintayo. And if you have anything to say, this is your chance. Um, thank you, Prof. Thank you, everyone. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Thanks, family and friends. Thank you all. Thank you, Caleb. The next one on the queue is Dr. Gounden Denisha. I think I've known Gounden from the first, uh, from when she was in first year. And it's, it's amazing how, how fast time flies. Anyway, the title of Gounden's thesis was Advancement Towards Solid State Photovoltaic Technologies Using Metallocyanins and Cellulose Sources, Synthesis, Characterization, and Solar Efficiency. Citation. The candidate developed materials to enhance photovoltaic efficiencies and provide economically viable alternatives for solar cells. Phthalocyanins were used as additive materials to the photovoltaic uh, photo, photoactive layer due to their chemical and thermal stability. And the metals used included cobalt, nickel, manganese, and titanium. Nanocellulose was prepared and used as a transparent conductive optical transparent substrate. Uh, aspects of this work has already, uh, have already been published in peer review international journals. The supervisors were Professor uh, Vanna Eval Banzil and Dr. Noloazi Dinesha, if you have something to say, congratulations, and this is your time. Bernard, she was here, but she's disappeared. So I think she must have lost her connection. Okay. Let's move to the next one. 
the next candidate after going through four chemistry uh, graduates is Dr. Hamed, Muhammad Said Jibril from uh, physics. The title of his thesis, uh, the effects of nanocomposites in bulk heterojunction thin film organic solar cells. Mr. Hamid has investigated on the influence of various plasmonic nanoparticles on the performance of thin film organic solar cells. Consequently, Mr. Hamid has discovered several new experimental results that can improve our understanding on the role of local surface plasmon resonance for efficient solar energy harvesting. Mr. Hamed has published more than eight research articles in highly reputable journals in the field. Congratulations, Mr. Ahmed. Supervisor was Professor Ginene Mola. Ahmed. Yeah, thank you so much, Barok. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you for uh, Barok Mola. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh, that is wonderful. Thanks, Ahmed. It's nice to see family behind uh, you supporting you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Sally, let's move to the next one. Uh, Dr. Ibitio Ayodeji, whose thesis title was Cross correlation of large scale structure of the universe. Interesting. Um, Dr. Ayodeji's thesis works on the cutting edge observational probe of large scale structure. He performed a cross correlation study between the thermal Sunyaev Zeldovich maps derived from Planck CMB maps. I won't pretend I know what CMB stands for, with galaxy density field from infrared survey to probe the galaxy bias and the cross correlation properties. For his second study, hmm, he cross correlated the TSZ maps with the Planck's ISW map to provide useful constraints on cosmological parameters using well established cosmological models. Uh, congratulations, uh, Prof, uh, Dr. Ibitoy, and the supervisor you. was Prof. <laughs> in the Congratulations. Thanks to you, Thanks. Okay, that was it, Sally. I think you can move to the next one. Uh, Dr. Ilori Abiola Olowale, whose thesis title was Natural Radioactivity Levels in Soil, Crops, River Sediments, and Selected Aquatic Species in South Africa's Oil Producing Areas. Um, this would pass for a chemistry thesis as well. Anyway, Mr. Hillary's, uh, Dr. Hillary's PhD study focused on determine, determining radionuclide concentrations in different environmental media. The study findings were unique in that they covered both agricultural and aquatic environments, identifying areas of radiation concern in both sectors. His work resulted in four papers in reputable international journals, and all the examiners commented on the importance and relevance of the work and results. Congratulations, Dr. Ilori. Um, you can say a few words if you so wish. Yeah, thank you very much, Prof. I am so grateful. I appreciate the almighty God for the grace of life. Like you said, it's, it's a very lovely work and uh, I want to, Thank my supervisor, Professor Navin Chetty, for his leadership 
his understanding, the guidance, the zeal to supervise me. I also appreciate my co-supervisor, Dr. Adele Eba Miche, for the opportunity to work with him. Permit me also to thank UKZN and South Africa for the enabling environment to learn and also for the fee remission of full cost of the PhD program. That was a massive relief for me for achieving this, and I'm sure it's a massive relief for many graduates celebrating today. Finally, I like to appreciate my wife, Felicia, for the understanding, my children, David, Davina, and Dasha, because I'm always absent from home, obviously, for this program. And I also appreciate my parents and my siblings, Adiola and Ingamola. Prof, I look forward to working with people in chemistry where we can, I can look at environmental activity levels. They can work on heavy metals. Even those in biology can work with me, looking at microbial pollution of various environmental media. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. Well done, Dr. Hillary. You are always welcome to work with people in chemistry. In any case, we always push for multidisciplinary research. Uh, Prof. Modi can tell you that now. Um, our next doctor, new doctor, is Dr. Kudzai Mugadza, whom I've also known for quite a bit of time, from the time she registered for master's. Her thesis title was Tubular Carbon-Based Materials from Ionic Liquids and Cellulose Containing Biomass for Electrochemical Capacitors. The ever-increasing need for sustainable and renewable energy resources is a global concern. This study reviewed opportunities associated with renewable biomass from sugarcane bagasse as a carbon source to synthesize innovative nanomaterials from ionic liquids as potential nanomaterials for supercapacitors. The resulting nano-sized nano materials with high surface area provided better efficiency for supercapacitors electrodes. This research brings us a step closer towards viable and sustainable means of utilizing renewable energy. Congratulations, Kudzai. Uh, the supervisors were Professor Vincent Onserio Nyamori, Dr. No, Professor Patrick Gatura Ndung, and Professor Ann Stack. Uh, Dr. Kudzai, if you have something to say, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful for this opportunity that you have given us. Um, at least we now feel we have been celebrated also. It was a good time that we, we, we were together with our colleagues. A special mention goes to my supervisors. Their, their mentoring and their efforts took me to where I am today. I'm really grateful for them. And I'm also grateful to my family, to my friends, everybody who managed to join to celebrate with me today. Thank you so much. This is a very good opportunity to just express our feelings. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kudzai. Congratulations once again. And next we have Dr. Shalene Ezia Naika, uh, whose thesis title was a computational study of corrosive sulfur on metal surfaces. The citation, the failure of transformers is sometimes the reason why we experience power outages apart from the well-known load shading. These failures are mainly attributed to the corrosion of copper silver windings in the transformers by corrosive sulfur. Dr. Naika employed uh, te techniques in theoretical physics to understand the interaction mechanisms between corrosive sulfur and the windings within the transformer. Her research sheds light on developing remedial processes that could ultimately mitigate the failure of transformers. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Naika. The supervisor was Dr. Marvlin Moodley. Dr. Naika, if you have something to say, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Prof. Waga. And thank you so much to the university and the faculty 
retail and department and help bring the celebration together and providing, providing. I'd also like to thank my family, my sister and my, and my cousins, um, Katie, Colin and Sandra, as well as my main person, my supervisor for helping me throughout this entire PhD journey. Thank you for putting up with me and I'm really grateful to everybody, my friends and everyone for helping me. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you and congratulations once again. Next is Dr. Siabonga Sifisondlela, uh, whom I think I've also known from the time he was in first year. And this, this is title uh, is uh, Fujicide Zeolite Synthesis and Modification of its Physical Chemical Properties for oxidation, Oxidative Activation of uh, Normal Octanes. Uh, the citation, the activation of abundant low value linear paraffins to valuable products is important. Siabong and Lela's research focuses on the oxidative dehydrogenation of N-octane over new modified zeolite materials. The application of these materials in the oxidative dehydrogenation of N-octane produced promising results, which were published in four high impact journals. His work added valuable insight into zeolite materials. And importantly, he was able to deduce a mechanism for the reaction. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Ndlela. Dr. Ndlela's supervisor was Professor Olga Bernhard Friedrich. Dr. Ndlela, if you have something to say, this is your chance. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, I'd like to firstly thank the UK nice residents. Thank you. <laughs> I'm dressed for the occasion. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Prof, uh, for the opportunity. I'd like to thank uh, UK ZN for giving me the opportunity to study here, the School of Chemistry and Physics, my supervisors, and also the friends that I've made over the years that I've been here in UKZN. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my family who never gave up on me, who had a patience I cannot ever imagine. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you too for completing your studies. It's a good thing, it's a big achievement. Congratulations once again. Thanks, Prof, cheers. Yeah. The next uh, new doctor who I think shared the lab with Nlela is Dr. Pinky Ntola, also worked uh, as a student rep for us in the higher degrees committee. Uh, his, her thesis title was Oxidative Dehydrogenation of Paraffins Using Metal Oxide Catalyst. Uh, citation, Pinky Ntola's research explored the oxidative dehydrogenation of N-octane as well over vanadates incorporated into magnesium oxides. She used sophisticated techniques such as advanced electron microscopy. Uh, I don't know whether I should read this in Cosa, Carnes, Paints, and powder X-ray diffraction with ritual refinement to characterize the materials. The application of this catalyst in the ODH of N of 10 produced promising results, which will surely translate into pairs of high, papers of high impact. Manuscripts to these effects have already been submitted. Congratulations, Dr. Antola. Dr. Antola's supervisors were Professor Subu Singh, Professor Olga Bernhard Frederick, and Dr. Abdul Sam Muhammad. Dr. Ntola, if you have something to say, the floor is yours. She is here. I'm not sure what if she has a connection problem. Hi, um, yes, I'm here. Thank you, Prof. Thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the special PhD celebration. Um, I'd like to thank the UK and I'd like to thank the college. I'd like to thank my supervisors, um, Prof. Friedrich, Prof. Uh, Subusing, Dr. Mohammed, 
and Dr. Oliver as well. I'm really grateful to them for all the support, um, the technical support, financial support. I'd like to thank DUT for giving me time away. And I also like to thank my friends and colleagues at UKVN and friends and, co and colleagues at DUT. It is really just uh, very uh, overwhelming and, and exciting. Thank you. Thank you, Pinky. Congratulations once again. Our next new doctor is Dr. Oluwalana Abimbola Enyolayan. Uh, Dr. Oluwalana's uh, thesis title reads Synthesis, Structural, Optical, and Photocatalytic Studies of Lead Sulfide and Tin Sulfide Nanoparticles from lead to and tin to the thiocarbamate complexes. Abimbola obtained her BSc in industrial chemistry from Achievers University in Nigeria and an MSc in inorganic chemistry cum laude from University of Lagos, Nigeria as well. Her PhD research focused on fabrication of lead sulfide and tin sulfide nanoparticles from the thiocarbamate single source precursor. The nanoparticles showed potential as efficient photocatalysts for the removal of organic dyes from wastewater. She has published a good six peer reviewed papers from the thesis. Congratulations, Dr. Oluwalana, or Bimbo, as she is known in her lab. Her supervisor was Professor Peter Ajibade. Yeah. Bimbo, if you have something to say, the floor is yours. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy that, yes, I came, I saw I conquered. I'm so happy. It wasn't an easy journey, though, but I'm so grateful to everyone. Most especially to God for being my support. Then also to my parents for standing by me, believing in me, living me for a very long period of time. It wasn't easy. I dedicate my PhD to my father, he is my role mother, and my mother for being my prayer warrior. And my siblings, I love you all. Thank you so much for being with me to the end. And my appreciation also goes to my supervisor, Prof. Ajiba Day. Thank you, Prof. We really appreciate your support. We thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And the whole of chemistry department, I really appreciate you from the technical staff. You guys are so wonderful. You never made me feel left out. So I say thank you. And a special thanks also goes to Prof. Owaga. Thank you so much, Prof, for always checking up to know my progress. I really appreciate you. Thank you all my family for being here with me to the end. Thank you, I love my heart for you. Thanks, Bimbo, and congratulations once again. Uh, the last one, uh, this one I think is going to make my tongue uh, bleed a bit, is a very own member of staff uh, in chemistry, Dr. Muvango Rasalanavo. Uh, Dr. Muvango's thesis um, was titled Analytical Microchemical Studies on Selected Wild Growing Mushrooms of the Boletus Fusula Lactarias and Tamitomyces families, distributed in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. Citation. Dr. Muvango Rasalanavo evaluated the nutritional and medicinal benefits of six species of wild growing mushrooms in South Africa. Uh, he dared me to read uh, whatever is in brackets here and I'll try. Amanita paterin, <laughs> Boletus edulis, Boletus mirabilis, Lactarius deliciosus, Drusula sardonia, and Tamitomyces sagittiformis. I suppose the last one has to do with something to do with termites. Anyway, from the microchemical analysis of the indigenous species, he isolated agosterol, glycophingolipid, oleic acid, uracil, mannitol, 
uh, urethral and mannitol, which demonstrated moderate antioxidant activity. His study provides a scientific basis for the traditional use of wild growing mushrooms in the country. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Muvango Rasalanavo, whose supervisors were Professor Srikant Babu Jona Lagada and Professor Roshila Moodley. Dr. Muvango, you can say the last word for the graduates from chemistry. Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, this was quite a, a long journey. Uh, it took me almost 39 years to um, achieve this uh, uh, degree because uh, the, uh, I conceived this when I was still doing grade uh, seven uh, after I was uh, ask what I want to, uh, to, to become. And then I said, I, be, I want to become a scientist. At that time, I didn't even know what a scientist was. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I would like to thank my supervisors, Professor John Lagat. I won't uh, mention his first name because uh, um, culturally we're not allowed to mention uh, elderly people with their uh, first name. My second supervisor, she's a colleague, so is Roshila Moodley, Professor Roshila Moodley. Um, Prof. Uh, <clears throat> John Lagada took me uh, through uh, the <clears throat> um, degree, this degree, and uh, having knocked at several doors, and uh, they were shut before I, I could even enter. But uh, when I spoke to him, he gladly said, We can do a project, and then we I sat down and uh, um, today we <coughs> I have achieved what I needed to achieve all these years. And um, uh, I always call Prof. Roshila Moodley Roshila, so she, she, she won't mind if I just say Roshila. She was so instrumental and uh, we uh, did a lot of work. Um, she looked at all my uh, writings and uh, she supported me all the way and I really appreciate that. And I also like to uh, thank the municipality and uh, private uh, plantation companies that uh, gave me an opportunity to do the same thing, as well as uh, I will just cite one of the workers of one of the company that is called Bolitas, uh, Mr. Humphreys Mzuwondoda. Uh, he's now retired uh, and I owe him a visit to the Eastern Cape because uh, he assisted me a lot. When I went to the plantations, he showed me all the, um, <clears throat> the uh, pine plantation where I could get certain species of mushrooms. At that point, I didn't even know uh, what uh, those mushrooms were and he explained all those uh, to me. And the other thing is uh, the research students that uh, uh, were assisting me at Westville and at Peter Marisbeck. When you need to do certain procedures, they would uh, gladly uh, support me. And uh, that was uh, very nice of them. All the technicians uh, at, at uh, both campuses, Westville and uh, Peter Marisbeck, they were very uh, welcoming whenever I needed support. They supported me without uh, saying anything. Uh, at some point, I thought maybe it was because I was the staff member, but uh, I realized that uh, they were just uh, uh, like that even to other students. And the research office uh, was uh, also instrumental a lot because uh, um, at some point after um, uh, Prof. John uh, uh, Lagarde indicated that uh, uh, we, we needed more funding for, for the um, <clears throat> For, for the re, uh, research, uh, the research office uh, supplied uh, or provided funding for me to, uh, uh, as well as an NRF. And uh, that, that was a really um, a good thing to do. Uh, lastly, uh, I would like to uh, also thank my family, my wife and my two boys. Actually, my two boys were my research assistants because we were going to the plantations together. They used to clean the mushrooms. Sometimes they couldn't even understand why we're doing those mushrooms because we're not going to eat them. 
but uh, they kept me reading a lot because I, they asked questions. What is this mushroom? Why are you doing this one? So I, I was always uh, um, giving them the information and uh, it kept me. And lastly, my uncle, and uh, he is the one who actually I indicated that I must do science, even though I didn't know what science was all about. So I ended up uh, doing science at uh, high school and uh, later on it becomes part of my profession. And uh, obviously I should thank uh, my parents uh, who at the moment they don't even understand what it is. I just told them I got a PhD and there was no excitement at all. So I hope they don't even know what, what it means because my parents never studied. So those are some of the things that, uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to thank God for giving me the parents who, even though they didn't study, they uh, kept on pushing me to, to go to school. And uh, I thank you and thank uh, UKZN for the opportunity. I know Prof. Moody will remember when you interviewed me uh, in 2001, uh, the only question that I asked was, how are you going to support me when it comes to studying, furthering my studies? Because I had uh, something in mind and uh, I, had, I knew that I needed to uh, get uh, my PhD so that I become a scientist that I wanted to, to become. I thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Muvango. And congratulations to all uh, graduates from chemistry again. Well done, and over to Sally. Thanks very much, Bernard, um, for taking us through all your children who you've nurtured and done all the admin for, and now they're all doctors. Uh, I'd like to call on the Dean and Head of School, Prof. Ross Robinson. I'm sure he's very proud of all his new PhDs that he's notched up for the school. And Ross, if you'd like to say a few words. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sally, and thank you, colleagues. Good evening. Um, I don't even know where to start. You know, I was just listening to the last speaker, who I know very well, Mvango, uh, just with pride, as he was just describing the journey. Uh, and I was, you know, it was just such a lovely occasion just to listen to all the little elements that all came together to make this possible for him. But it's the same story for every single person that we've, that we've heard from this evening. I mean, we were all smiling when Mohammed Hamed had his whole family rush behind him and just to congratulate him. So, so for me, I, I think what's made this evening so special for me is to enjoy that it's a team effort, that families have been involved. We see ourselves as part of that family, as a school, the administrators, the technicians that have all helped uh, to, to make this uh, a success. Uh, today, we're just so proud of you and all the hard work and effort that you've done uh, to get this far. We also need to thank you, you know, uh, like uh, Professor Waga indicated, you know, we've known many of you for many, many years from first year. You've helped us out. You've, you've been demonstrators in our labs. You've, you've given to the school and to the future generations that are coming through. So, so I want to congratulate you. I want to thank you on behalf of the School of Chemistry and Physics and our college as well. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit here this evening and, and just enjoy uh, this time. And I want to thank Sally and her team for putting this together. I really enjoyed it. So congratulations, colleagues, once again. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, Ross. Um, I've just seen a message from Prof. Kubanali to say that there were some graduates, chemistry graduates and physics graduates who lost connection and are back now. Um, Neil, I'm not sure who they are, but if you're here, if they want to say a few words, now's your moment. Um, well, Neil? I think I saw Gandhian here as well. She, she lost connection at that time. Denisha, if you're here, you want to say a few words? Denisha, do you want to say a few words? Hi, yes, please. Over to you. Um, Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for this great opportunity. Uh, it uh, feels like the final uh, stage or the step to just end off this PhD journey. It's been a long uh, 11 years, I think it is, since I started. 
Um, so UK Dinan is all I've ever known since 18. So I've kind of grown up in the chemistry department and everybody's more like family than friends stage. Um, it was a, a tumultuous journey. It was never really easy, but uh, there was great support structures at uh, or within our School of Chemistry and Physics. And that is something that I really appreciate from my great supervisors, which is Prof and Sale and Dr. Nambona. She's at over at um, University of Pretoria, uh, all the way to the technicians uh, who work so tirelessly and uh, without complaint. So I've made some great, great, great relationships and more than the uh, what I've received in terms of education from UKZ and I have some priceless memories <laughs> spending my 20s here. I've made some wonderful friends and yes, I really appreciate everything that this journey has given to me. Thank you everybody so much. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks very much, Denisha. I'm glad you could rejoin us. Neil, was there anyone else or... Can I move on to life sciences? I didn't notice anyone, but if there's anyone that we left out to please shout okay. out. Now. I think we're fine, Sally, you can go ahead. We've done it, okay. Right, we'll move on to our next school, which is the School of Life Sciences. And if I can call on the academic leader for uh, research, which is Prof Kana, if you can unmute yourself and show yourself and let me share my screen, hopefully successfully this time. Right. Um, thank you, Sally. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, you very much. Uh, right, thank you very much. Uh, the DVC, uh, the College Dean of Research, and uh, uh, everybody that has put together a package that uh, helps the postgraduate to, to, to have the feeling of the real graduation. Uh, once again, I, I, I congratulate the new doctors and uh, their supervisors. Uh, just a few words before I, I, I begin, give you, I begin uh, reading the citations and, the, and the, the different citations. As an academic leader, I have the opportunity of going through some of the, the reports from the examiners, and there is one outstanding, there's one statement that stands out in virtually all reports. The statement is, outstanding contribution to knowledge. And I, I guess this is a reflection of the quality of research uh, within the School of Life Science. Now I will say that the time has come that the new doctors should translate the new knowledge into solutions to address the real world problems, the real world issues. We, we have several in the world. The, uh, please do not say that there's no job. Don't say that the world has gone through multiple crises, economic crisis, COVID crisis, and so on. On this issue, I will, I will challenge you to show me a single PAD holder that do not have a job. If you look globally, I think there's none. I mean, a genuine PAD holder in the world that's without a job. Where there's no job, you can create one. But more importantly, do not create a solution where there's no problem, where there's no problem with the intention that you will create a problem later and force people to buy the solution of the problem you have created. Congrats, you did it, but uh, remember that the hard work, the hard work has just, uh, has just started, has just begun. With that said, I will begin with, uh, with, with, with the first new doctor from the School of Life Science, that is uh, uh, Dr. Adeleke Babatunde Ayoade. The thesis uh, focused on the bioeconomic feasibility of aquaponics in South Africa, the frogging for sustainable development of freshwater aquaculture. <coughs> Citation. Uh, Dr. Adeleke dissertation provides insight on successes and areas for improvement of aquaculture in Africa and explore aquaponics potential as an alternative, small and medium income generating the generative farming system in South Africa. Dr. Adelikes evaluated the aquaponics in terms of uh, bioeconomic feasibility 
as a potential leapfrog technology to facilitate rapid development, attend food security, and promote local economic development. Aquaponics does represent a potential to drive sustainable and feasible food production in South Africa. Uh, the supervisors for this uh, thesis uh, were Dr. Robertson Anderson and Mr. Mutley, Mr. Mutley and Dr. Taylor. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Aleke. If you, and, uh, if you are connected, please, this is the time for you to, if you want to say a few words to the audience. Hello, everyone. I'm not sure if I'm audible enough because I'm somewhere in Northern KwaZulu Natal trying to implement part of my research. So if I'm not that audible, it's because the network is not that good. I want to thank everyone that has been part of this journey. I want to thank my supervisor, Dr. Deborah Robertson Adnessy, uh, Mr. Gamudli, and Dr. Simon, and the partnership and alliances that have um, enjoyed in the course of this PhD. Part of the alliances has made it possible for me to be somewhere in Eskawini to implement, design, and build um, an aquaponic system for the community. And currently, we're training the beneficiaries. So I want to thank everyone. I want to thank my family. I want to thank God as well. I want to thank friends and colleagues that assisted in the journey thus far. Congratulations to me and congratulations to all the colleagues and thanks to UKZN and South Africa at large. Thanks and God bless. Uh, thank you, Dr. Adeleke. We are proud to know that uh, you have started the implementation, the translation of your research work into solution to help uh, mankind. <clears throat> the next new doctor is Dr. Adetunji Ademola Emmanuel. Uh, the thesis on the physiological and biochemical investigations into the real into the reinvigorations of the deteriorated brassica oleraceae, that is the cabbage, and Latusa sativa, that is the lettuce. The seed of uh, the seed with antioxidant and inorganic salt solutions. <clears throat> the citations: aging inducing loss of orthodox seed vigor and viability during long-term storage compromises crop productivity. Dr. Adetunji's research uh, focus on reinvigorating deteriorated cabbage and lotus seed with antioxidant and inorganic salt solution. The study offered new physiological and biochemical insight for using seed prehydration treatment for mitigating poor for stand establishment and also recommend successful reinvigoration of seed store for long-term gene bank to ensure food security. Let me just add that here that the examiners uh, pointed out that uh, a substantial amount of work was already published in peer review journal. The supervisors are Dr. Bobby Varsege, Professor Naidu, and Professor Pamenta. Uh, Dr. Adetuji, if you are Connected, please. If you have a few words for the audience, the platform is yours. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I, I am particularly happy for uh, this. Uh, I've looked forward to this occasion and I've worked uh, all the times I've been around in South Africa, UKZN, towards this uh, a PhD degree. My gratitude goes to uh, because then uh, the Republic of South Africa for the various support that I uh, that I received while studying here in South Africa has been amazing. I am thankful to God, the Almighty, and thankful to Jesus Christ, my Lord, and my strength for you know being there with me. Also, I'd just like to say a few words of uh, precision to my supervisor, Dr. Bobby Baggis. Uh, I, I want to say thank you for being there every step of the way. Um, his interest in my general well-being. I was so much more than I could have asked for. And I am particularly thankful for that. I am profoundly grateful to uh, Professor Session Nahidu, my school supervisor, uh, for his brilliant contributions, his immense support, uh, and for pushing me towards excellence. Thank him for his drive, you know, for being there for me. I thank my first supervisor of this project also, uh, that's in person of Professor Norman Pimenta. Um, I want to thank him for ensuring that I lacked nothing while I was studying under his supervision. I also would like to say thank you to my uh, late father, Pastor Clement Tundi Adetunji, for his prayer and support while he was here. Uh, I really miss him. 
Uh, and to my mother, Mrs. Rachel Bosedi Adetuji, I want to say a big thank you, you know, for believing in me and for always helping me to achieve my ambitions. Uh, I couldn't have come this far without her support. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my siblings for praying for me and supporting me every way they could. Um, to my beautiful wife, she's the one standing right behind me there. Yeah, we are proud of being <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, I'm thankful to her for her companionship and assistance all the way. I want to say I love you, darling. Yes, and my handsome, handsome baby boy right there. <laughs> I want to thank him for his cooperation while I was doing my PhD. Uh, my baby boy came along the line, you know, during my PhD study. And uh, I also like to say thank you, everyone, for uh, this privilege to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, the and once more again, congratulations. Continue the celebration with, uh, with the family. The, the next, uh, the, the next uh, new doctor is Dr. Arebe Shola Oladipupo, and the thesis on biodegradation of pentachlorophenol by Bacillus tropicus, isolated from activated sludge of a wastewater treatment plant in Durban, South, in Durban, South Africa. Dr. Arik Beshola investigated the catabolic pathways involved in the degradation of pentachlorophenol by an indigenous bacteria isolate. To date, the study has produced four publications, including novel report on the biological functions of the importance of enzymes in the pathways. Findings from the studies are promising for the development of microbial system for cost-effective and sustainable treatment of site polluted with PCP and uh, for, uh, that the study has made excellent contribution to knowledge with, uh, as evidenced by the publication generated from the study. The supervisors are Professor A.O. Ola Nuran and Dr. Mokwena. Dr. Eric Boshala, if, if you are connected, please, if you have a few words for the audience, the platform is yours. Uh, I don't think he's here, um, Prof. Kana. All right, thank you very much. Once more, congratulations to Dr. Arik Beshola. <clears throat> the other new doctor that we have is Dr. Chambers, Matt John, and the thesis on the design and identification of these secretors, allosteric and active site ligands. Uh, Dr. Dr. Mark Chambers produced a large body of work in which he effectively delineated the parameters influencing the thermal stability of the Alzheimer's relevant protein, the BACE1, provided the first definitive measurement of the protein's thermal stability in mammalian and bacterial cells, and devised an original screening assay through which he identified three novel BACE1 binding ligands. His work, which was recently published, offers unique perspectives that will facilitate the design of effective BAC1 inhibitors. Two of the three examiners, let me just point out here that two of the three examiners recommended a pass as is without any change, any correction in the thesis. The supervisors are Dr. Heward. Congratulations, Dr. Chambers. If you are corrected, please, uh, if you want to give two words, few words to this audience, you, the platform is yours. Uh, he's not connected, Prof. Kana. All right, okay, thank you very much. The another new doctor that we have that is Dr. Kozian Ruth Jenny. And the thesis focused on pollinator driven divergence among population of self fertilizing lily. And <clears throat> citation the prevalence of self fertilizing in fertilization in plant with ecological specialized pollination system is a major puzzle in biology. Dr. Kozian demonstrated that the river lily esperanta comprises two ecotypes, which are locally adapted to butterfly and long proboscid fly pollinators, respectively. Yet the plants are also capable of self-fertilization. Dr. Kozian showed that the combination of delays Selfing with adaptations for cross pollinations offers plant a best of both worlds in evolutionary as evolutionary strategy. Uh, 
let me highlight a couple of things here. If, uh, if uh, you allow me, that this thesis is a thesis uh, submitted by Dr. Kosian. Uh, all the three examiners awarded pass as East without any correction. And let me just read a little comment from the, from the College Dean of Research. When uh, he said, very rarely do I see all three examiners passing the thesis without the need for correction. This indicates work of the highest caliber. Dr. Kozian, if you are connected, please, if you want to give a few words today to this, uh, to this audience, the platform is yours. I did see her here, um, but maybe she's been shy. <laughs> okay, we, we hope that uh, perhaps before the end of the program, she may, she may have some uh, maybe courage and give us a few words. The next, uh, the next new doctor, that's a Dr. Delsing Audrey Katrina. The thesis is on African elephant, African elephant spatial ecology, population control and human interaction, implication for management. Dr. Del Singh investigated approaches to management of endangered African elephants using understanding gain from studying their movement and behavior. She demonstrated that immuno, immuno contraception implement, implementation has no social or behavioral consequences. The importance of considering the large home range of elephants when addressing localized problems, and she developed a novel risk assessment approach for effective preemptive conflict mitigation, incorporating elephant spatial ecology into management planning contextualizes and improves management applications and outcome. Uh, again, high examiner highlighted that two publications were already published from the work. The supervisor is Professor Rob Sloto. Dr. Delsink, if you are connected, please, if, uh, if it is possible, if you want to give us a couple of few words, that's fine. The platform is yours. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you, Professor Connor and um, Dr. Frost for facilitating this. And I must commend the university on um, making this opportunity available to us. It's um, quite a bizarre concept in these days of COVID, um, but thank you for all the effort that you've gone to to make it very special. Um, I just want to extend my gratitude and my thanks to my supervisor, Prof Slotto. Um, it's been a very long road. I was really delighted to hear from Dr. Denisha Gandon when um, she said she had a long road of 11 years. Well, I think my road has been longer. I'm not going to say how much longer, but it has been. <laughs> it has been longer. Um, and I just wanted to just extend my sincere thanks um, to Prof Slotto for his unbelievable guidance and support um, in, in, in making this um, PhD what it is. I really believe that the product is far better than what we what I could have imagined when we started out. And um, I'm, you know, I've been with the university through my master's and through my PhD, and I'm just unbelievably grateful as a, as a distance uh, learner in a different province throughout the journey, just for all the opportunities that have been afforded me. And um, I'm very proud and very pleased and very thankful and very blessed. And um, just extend my family to my thanks to my family and to all that have supported me. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Del Sinkha. Once again, congratulations. The next doctor that we have is Dr. Fato Kun Kayode. The thesis focus on cathodic water invigoration of deteriorated orthodox seed implication on subsequent plant growth. Citation. Aging induced loss of orthodox seed vigor and viability during long-term storage is inevitable. Dr. Fato Kun's doctoral research focused on reinvigorating deteriorated seeds of few wild and agricultural species with cathodic water and electrolyzed form of calcium magnesium solution. The study offered new physiological and biochemical insight into the use of cathodic water in invigorating debilitated seeds 
and using cathodic water in improving the yield of orthodox seeded species. Uh, for the new doctor, the two of examiners recommended a pass without any correction. The supervisors are Professor Beckett, Dr. Va Vagese, Professor Pamenter. Dr. Fadokud, if you are connected, if you are with us, if you would like to, to give us a few words, please, the platform is yours. Hello. Hi. Where, where are Hello. we to? Oh, all right. Um, um, I am quite very happy today that uh, for me, it's been a very long journey. Uh, I've gone through uh, so many things. And um, but before I say any other thing, I want to thank my, my first supervisor, Professor Norman Parmenta, my second supervisor, Professor Beckett, and my co-supervisor, uh, Professor Bobby Vargas. And I will not forget to also thank my, the dean of my school, uh, Professor Lanier, who also came in at a very critical period of my study. Uh, <clears throat> I've studied in about five universities, but I think UKZN, UKZN is actually outstanding among the five universities. And uh, in my lab, we, we were like family. We, we operated like the, the, the way we did things, it was as if we all came from the same family. Uh, so I really enjoyed my stay at UKZN Wesley campus and especially my lab. And I thank everyone who contributed one way or the other to my success. I thank my children who I had to abandon to study uh, here, uh, Joshua and uh, <clears throat> Paul. So I thank everyone and I'm very grateful. I'm happy today because uh, uh, I mean, studying at my age, I actually started my PhD in my late 40s. Uh, so it, it was quite very challenging. It was at a point when responsibilities were all already very much on me but at the end i'm happy and i thank everybody thank, I you, thank you for the opportunity thank you <laughs> thank you very much uh, dr fatokun and once again congratulations thank you very much <clears throat> the next new doctor is uh, dr govinder ashrene i I remember when uh, I, I had to teach her undergrad and eventually she, she, she has moved on with the PhD. I'm quite proud of her. Uh, Dr. Govinder's uh, thesis focused on DNA metabacoding and zooplankton enhances community level analysis of connectivity in marine pelagic environment. Citation, zooplankton are abundant and diverse marine organisms that form ecologically important communities. They are well suited for the biomonitoring of ecosystem health and biodiversity. For her PhD, Dr. Govender used new molecular techniques such as DNA metabarcoding to monitor and assess marine zooplankton along the east coast of South Africa. The research carried out by Dr. Govender was timeless and cutting edge and has contributed to the, to the growing field in metabarcoded and the zooplankton research. The supervisors are Dr. Willows Morrow, Professor Greenveld, and Ms. Singh. Congratulations, Dr. Govinda. If you are corrected and if you want to give us a few words, please, the platform is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Prof. Khanna. Um, can you hear me? You can hear it perfectly. Okay, thank you all so much. Uh, I would like to first thank my supervisors, Dr. Sandy Wolos Monroe, Professor Johan Kronefeld, and Dr. Sohana Singh. Um, this journey has been uh, very terrific and also scary. The last three years have been uh, a whirlwind, especially 2020 with the pandemic, but I am just glad it's over. I am really grateful to my supervisors and to my family and my friends and my support system. And my PhD was actually um, dedicated to my parents and to my grandparents because uh, I am where I am because of them. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Govinda. I once, once again, congratulations. 
<laughs> the next new the next new doctor is Dr. Uh, Gumede. Uh, the next new doctor is Dr. Gumede Slindile Tobeka. The thesis focus on the taxonomic, functional, and metapopulation dynamics of the avian communities in selected southern mist belt forest of southern KwaZulu Natal and the Eastern Cape in South Africa. Citation. Anthropogenic landscape transformation result in reduced natural habitats such as forest. This is a challenging, this, this challenging specialist species in fragmented habitats and influences the compositions and distributions of avian species assemblage. In her timely multifaceted study, Dr. Gomede determines scores of functional diversity, measures of avian community present in understudy southern misbelt forest patches and path connectivity to show protection of natural forest habitat in diverse uh, landscape critical for avian communities' persistence. The supervisors are Professor Colin Down, Dr. D.A. Heller Smith, and Dr. Y.C. Heller Smith. Uh, Dr. Gumede, if you are connected, please, you, you can give us a few words. You She was here, but I don't see her anymore, um, Prof. All right, thank you very much, Sally. Hopefully, uh, they will come perhaps at the end of the program uh, and let us know what they feel being new doctors. <clears throat> the, the, another new doctor, that's Dr. Kader Fazin. The thesis focused on the development of a novel, novel multiplex MS. SNP essay for identification of human body fluids and assessment of DNA methylation differences between ethnic group in KZ and South Africa. Dr. Fazin Kader's research was in the interesting field of forensics. She developed a method to simultaneously identify forensic relevant body fluid like blood, saliva, and semen using methylated markers. In a first ever report, she looked at methylation difference in blood and saliva of diverse South African populations. Her thesis obtained excellent reviews with one of the examiners stating that it is one of the best theses examined in years. Uh, let me add here that two of the three examiners rep uh, recommended a pass without any correction. The supervisors are Dr. Joshi, Professor Olanuran, and Dr. Niehos. Uh, Dr. Kada, if you are connected, please, if you would like to give us a few words, you are welcome. The platform is yours. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. I'm very grateful to God Almighty, my parents and my family, my supervisors, research collaborators, and all the volunteers in my research. And thank you to Dr. Frost and the organizers for putting the celebration together. Thank you, Dr. Kada. And once again, congratulations. Then we have Dr. Lagrange Luis Jacobos. The thesis is on the, is on the trichinella infections in the wildlife in the Greater Kruger National Park, South Africa, unraveling epidemiological gaps with special emphasis on the inf infectivity of trichinella zimbabweensis in selected tropical fishes. Dr. Lagrange undertook a comprehensive study on the epidemiology of trichinella infections in wildlife in the Greater Kruger National Park of South Africa. The study was a combination of field and laboratory experiments. The study unraveled some important epidemiological gaps, which include identification of new vertebrate wildlife hosts, as well as infectivity of the parasite to tropical fishes. The supervisor is Professor Mukaratiwa. Dr. Lagrange, if you are connected, please, if you would like to give us a few words, you are welcome. Thank you, Prof. Uh, I hope everyone can hear me. I just want to firstly thank uh, God the Almighty and Jesus Christ, my Savior, for the opportunity to take a glimpse into and explore a very small part of his infinite creation. Um, then also for blessing me with the unwavering support from my family, my friends, um, especially my wife, Toinette, my two sons, Conrad and Stolk, throughout this sometimes very long and very hard journey. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Prof Mukratirwa for your guidance and mentorship over the years 
my sponsors, uh, Dr. Kovas Wright, through his companies, my colleagues, the staff, and also the fellow students of the University of KwaZulu Natal um, for all their efforts and, and support throughout this journey. God bless you all, and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lagrange, and once again, congratulations. Then another new doctor that we have, that is Dr. Mtize Luamkelekile Sichilelo. The thesis of uh, Dr. Mkize focused on population genetic structures of genetic loci, conferring hardiness in Nguni crossbreed cattle from selected KwaZulu Natal regions in South Africa. Citations. The genetic basis of genes conferring hardiness and robustness in South Africa Nguni crossbreed is poorly understood. Dr. Nkiza established the comprehensive evolutionary material lineage and population gen genetic structure of the Nguni crossbred cattle. He also discovered novel single nucleotide polymorphism in genes that confer heat tolerance. Dr. Nkiza unraveled novel genes linked to hardiness. Two research articles were published in internationally recognized journal and the examiner commented that the study has contributed immensely, uh, immensely in the field of genetics and has generated several publications in peer review papers. The supervisors of Dr. Zishiri. Dr. Kize, if uh, you are online and you would like to give us a few words, please, the platform is yours. He is here. Um, maybe he can't connect. Okay, thank you, Sally. Oh, good evening. Oh, okay, it's yes. connected. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's sorry, fine. sorry about that. I was muted. Uh, good evening to everyone, and I'd like to thank the opportunity that you have given us uh, in this wonderful celebration. So, thank you to Sally and team for putting it together. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my family for their unwavering support and uh, for their understanding, even though they felt like I disowned them and deserted at times due to my research. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to Dr. Oliver Zishiri, my supervisor. I think he has known me since uh, second year, if I'm not mistaken. And thank you for the, the, the support and, and, and all the unwavering determination and all the, all the times that he put up with me, even though I, I did some new turns uh, in the project without even informing him, but he understood because he knew the vision and he knew the, the, the potential that I have. And uh, thank you to the university and the School of Life Sciences for actually affording me the opportunity of employment. And um, so thank you to Professor Olenran and uh, the rest of the School of Life Sciences for actually accepting me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kizia, and once more, congratulations. <clears throat> the, the next uh, new doctor, that's Dr. Nyube Kebetue Tebego. The thesis focused on the gene expression profiling of South African indigenous goat breeds using RNA sequence technology in search of genes associated with growth and carcass quality trait. In, in, in her study, she, she used customized genomic and transcriptomic strategies to exhaustively characterize the genomic mechanism associated with growth and meat quality in goat. Her thesis explored the effects of breed type and production system and identify genes and genetic mechanism that enable indigenous goat to produce optimally under the various environmental conditions of South Africa. Dr. Newbe's studies findings are necessary for goat breeding and genetic improvement initiatives. The supervisors are Dr. Mushadei and Mr. Zomba. Dr. Newbe, if you are connected and you would like to give a few words, please, you, you, your platform is yours. Uh, she's not here, Prof. Thank you very much, Sally. <clears throat> Another new doctor, that's Dr. Dr. Goro Yemoto Nelson. The thesis focused on the effect of organic biostimulant and the mode of applications on the growth and biochemical compositions of Amaranthus hybridus. Citation, Dr. Goro Yeboto investigated uh, Amaranthus abridus leaf uh, vegetable to improve the crop for introductions into commercial agriculture. 
His investigation includes inorganic nutrients and five biostimulants together with microorganisms. Dr. Ngoro Yamoto showed that all five biostimulants and the interaction of microbes with seaweed biostimulant improve the growth of amaranthus, making it suitable for human consumption. He published three papers in international peer-reviewed journals. The supervisor are Professor Van Staden, Professor Finney, and Dr. Kurkani. Dr. Gore Yamoto, if you are connected, please, if you'd like to give a few words, the platform is yours. Okay, uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be amongst this uh, great gathering. I'm happy, anyway, to say I'm happy is just an understatement. I'm actually excited and elated. Uh, I would like to say thank you to God Almighty for giving me life and health during the long, grueling journey to this achievement. And I would like also to thank my supervisor, with Van Staden, I mean, Professor Van Staden for believing in me and also for the supervisor's tireless efforts with Van Staden, Professor Fini, and Buddha Bukhani in seeing that this program came to fruition. Also, I would like to say thank you to my family for being by my side, giving me all the support and also praying for my success. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. Another new doctor, that's Dr. Pereira de Mirinda Everton Bernardo. The thesis focused on building a, converse, sorry, a conservation strategy for the happy eagle in the Amazon forest, citation. The happy eagle is the health's largest eagle and is considered a flagship species for Amazon forest conservation. Happy eagles are threatened by poaching and habitat loss. As highlighted by the examiners, Mirinda's study was so comprehensive in scope and transcended classic raptor biology in so many ways that it makes a valuable contribution to the raptor literature, ecological literature, and eagle conservation. Each chapter was either published or submitted for, for peer review. The supervisors are Professor Colin Down and Professor C.A. Perez. Dr. Pierre de Mirinda, if you are connected, please, if you'd like to give a few words, you, you are welcome. Hello, everyone. I just would like to thank South Africa for the extreme act of generosity, for receiving me on that amazing PhD program. It allowed me to learn a lot about your wildlife management system and afforded myself with amazing job opportunities. I just received another one today, and I'm really grateful for everything that happened. I would like to also thank all my funders and my supervisors, Colleen Dows and Carlos Perez. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pereira de Mirinda. We are, we are glad to know that you have also started translating your skills, what you have acquired into a solution to address real world, so, uh, real world problems. Congratulations. The other doctor that we have, that's Dr. Ramdas Veshara. Uh, Dr. Ramdas thesis focused on the development of high value product prototypes derived from Bacillus liquiformis for the road construction industry. Citation. <clears throat> Current commercial stabilizers available for application on different soil types for rural road constructions is limited. Dr. Ramda's project focused on the development of a novel bio-based solution using an indigenous bacillus that is effective. The proposed stabilization technology addresses specific obstacles for in-situ soil and improves their structural properties. The work formed the basis of the development of enhanced bio-based stabilizer product for applications in the road sector. Let me highlight again here that two of the three examiners recommended the award of the degree without any corrections in the thesis submitted by, by, by Dr. Ramdas. The supervisors are Dr. Rabshuran and Professor Mukaratiwa. Dr. Ramdas, if you are connected, please, if you'd like to give a few words to the audience, you are welcome. Good evening, everyone. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, UKZN and my CSR supervisors, as well as my sincere gratitude goes to 
my family, especially my parents, my siblings, and my husband. And um, lastly, congratulations to my fellow graduates. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramdas. The next new doctor is Dr. Sanusi Adeyemi Isaac. I know the candidate very well because he, work, he works and he, he carries the research in my laboratory under my supervision. The thesis is the impact of nanobiocatalyst or saccharomyces cerevisiae metabolism for ethanol production, process optimization, catalytic studies, and preliminary scale up. Dr. Sanusi investigated the impact of nano size catalyst on saccharomyces cerevisiae metabolism for ethanol production. He developed the optimal process condition for bioethanol production from potato waste in the presence of nano size catalyst. Four papers from this research have been published in the world's top journals, including Catalyst Letters and Process Biochemistry, and also a book chapter. The knowledge generated will strengthen the country's manufacturing economy for biofuels from waste. The supervisors are Professor Kana. Uh, Dr. Isaac, if uh, Dr. Sanusi, if you are connected, I would like to give a few words to the audience, please. You are welcome. Hello, I'm here, Prof. Thank you. I don't know if you can hear me. We can hear you, Dr. Sanusi. Okay, thank you, Prof. And I want to thank the Almighty God for helping me through the uh, studies. I also want to thank um, my supervisor is the only one, Prof, you said they have, you are the only one, Professor Gagun Kana, you are um, my supervisor and I'm very grateful that I'm not just living with a certificate, I'm living with multiple skills. Thank you so much. I want to thank um, the Sanusi's family. They've been very supportive. I want to thank also uh, the fellowship I attend here and also want to thank my uh, the other member of the research group, they have been also very supportive. The School of Life Sciences, UKZN as you whole, I'm grateful. Thank you all. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sanusi. And once again, congratulations. The, the next new doctor is Dr. Sting Sarisha. Her thesis is on polyhydroxyl acanoid production by bacillus thuringiensis an aspect of biorefinery pulp and paper mill sludge. Citation, Dr. Singh explored the conversion of pulp and paper mill waste to economically valuable biodegradable bioplastic polymers. She predicted the waste and enzymatically hydrolyzed it to a glucose-rich feedstock used in fermentation by bacillus thuringiensis. The response surface methodology was used to optimize waste hydrolysis and batch batch and stacking fed batch fermentations were carried out. The polymers were comprehensively characterized and demonstrated desirable properties to the manufacture of biodegradable plastic. Uh, let me highlight that two publications were obtained from this study. The supervisors are Dr. Govinder, Professor, Pe Professor Permol, Professor Sitole, and Dr. Laker. If Dr. Singh is connected, please, we will appreciate if you can give us a few words. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank UKZN for this opportunity. I think part of the highlight of graduation is to stand on that stage whilst our eulogy is being read and enjoy that 15 seconds of um, glory. So thank you to UKZN and the college and, and the school for hosting this event and acknowledging us um, so firstly, I've, I've expressed my gratitude to my supervisor, but since she's here, Dr. Roshni Govindan, thank you so much for all your motivation and support. No matter what you went through, you were always there for me. And I remember in 2015, when I first came to you with this project, we sat and discussed it over a cup of coffee and a slab of chocolate. And now as a chair with my degree and title, so thank you so much for being there for me. Um, it still makes me emotional. And um, I think there's two other people that I'd like to thank whilst I'm here is Professor Lani Ran. Um, whenever we worked late in the department and he was around, he'll always pop by and spend one or two minutes checking on the students and um, making, making sure that we're achieving our goals. So thank you, Prof. And I think one of the unsung heroes in, the, in our school is Devashni. 
So I remember starting in 2011 as an honor student and Devashni was one of the admin staffs in microbiology. So thank you, for Devashni, for tolerating me all these years with all our demonstrating and TA queries. And um, yeah, thank you to the staff uh, of your School of Lyme Sciences for standing by their students, being a constant motivation and pillar of strength to us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Singh. And once again, congratulations. Another new doctor, that's Dr. Stretcher, Jared Peter. The thesis focus on aspects of ecology of tree mongoose species along a rural urban landscape gradient of KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. <clears throat> Citation, many small carnivore species are of particular concern for conservation because of their elusive behavior, diminutive size, and crepuscular habits. There was little understanding of the ecology of bongo species in KwaZulu-Natal. Dr. Strecher used a range of techniques to make an ex exceptional contribution to the knowledge gap and insight into the ecology of tree species of mongoose and how they persist across KwaZulu-Natal's anthropogenically modified habits. The, professor, the, the, supervisors are, the supervisor is Professor Colin Down. Dr. Strasher, if you are connected, please, if you, if you would like to give us a few words, the platform is yours. Thank you, Prof. Um, yes, um, good evening all. And yeah, it hasn't really sunk in the fact that uh, I've got where I've got thus far. Um, I'd just like to express my gratitude to my supervisor, Prof. Colleen Downs, uh, who agreed to undertake me for the study and just her constant support throughout uh, the many years from masters to PhD. Also, uh, Dr. Ramesh here didn't make the supervisor list, uh, my co-supervisor for his support and his help with the write-up process. Um, also all the funding sources and also the University of Cuisine Hotel uh, for their continued support and who made the project possible. Um, I would like to express my greatest gratitude to my family uh, who made many sacrifices to provide me with the opportunity to attend university and to pursue my passion uh, in higher education. Um, so I'm really fortunate for that. And then finally, I'd like to thank my wife, Melanie, for her constant uh, assistance with the project and life in general. Uh, you're incredibly patient and uh, thank you so much uh, for being on this journey with me. Um, yeah, I've been truly blessed and thank you, God. Cheers. Once again, congratulations, Dr. Tresher. The next new doctor is Dr. Treadgold Hederin. Uh, her thesis focused on the diversity of quorum sensing phenotypes among ecotypes of plant associated bacillus subtilus sensu lacto isolate. Citation Ecotype specific quorum sensing found amongst, among related bacteria is considered a significant driver of niche adaptation. Dr. Tregold's research presents the first description of ecotype diversity and phenotype variation found within plant associated bacillus subtilis. Several novel ecotype groupings and phenotypes variants were distinguished, providing evidence of unique ecotypes adapted to localized conditions. These findings have significant implications for microbial based plant growth promotion applications. Let me highlight here that two examiners, two examiners for Dr. Tregold, they, they awarded a pass without correction. And let me just uh, cite specifically what, what the examiner wrote. The examiner wrote, and I quote, uh, I recommend acceptance of the thesis as it stands, as it is in this satisfactory standard. Bracket, actually one of the best theses I have ever examined, I close the bracket. The supervisors are Dr. Heward and Dr. Hunter. Dr. Treadgold, if you are connected, I would like to give a few words to the audience, please. The platform is yours. Uh, she's not here, um, Prof. Kana. Thank you very much, uh, Sally. The next doctor is Dr. Wambua Sami Musi. The thesis focuses on metagenomics assessment of anthropogenic impact on coral reef associated microorganisms on the Kenyan Indian Ocean. 
Dr. Wambua has contributed an important milestone to East African microbiological knowledge with the first critical evaluation of anthropogenic effects on the microbiomes of coral reefs. His work is leading the approach to microbiome evaluation on the coral reefs of the Western Indian Ocean. The supervisors are Dr. McDonnell and Dr. S.M. de Villiers. If Dr. Wambwa is connected, please, we we'll appreciate if you can give us a few words. Thank you, uh, Prof. Um, and UKZN for uh, making this possible. Uh, it's been a long and fulfilling journey coming to this point. Uh, and this being the climax, I think there's very little else that one than just saying thank you. I want to thank God for life for uh, health, for the vision. Uh, and I want to uh, say thank you to the guys standing around me, the, uh, my girls, all the three of them. Uh, these have been my greatest uh, support and uh, greatest motivation for uh, getting me this far. The, long is, uh, the list is very long for the people that one way or another in putting me uh, at this uh, spot. But very generally, I want to thank um, my supervisors, uh, Dr. Arnold, uh, Dr. McDonald, and uh, Professor Santi, uh, and my extended family of uh, colleagues, uh, friends, and even students, most of whom are still um, connected here uh, online. I see some of them actually sending messages now. I love all of you guys, and uh, thank you so much. I look forward to uh, um, continued engagements, especially uh, in the new capacity and frontiers that uh, this new um, uh, this new qualification opens, uh, and uh, congratulations to my uh, fellow uh, graduates. Thank you so much. Thank you, and again, once more, congratulations, uh, Doctor. The next uh, new Doctor is Doctor Xiao Qin. The thesis on is on comparative anti-diabetics effects of and mechanism of action of five Chinese and South African indigenous teas. Citation. In this thesis, Dr. Chao Chin made a significant contribution in the area of alternative medicines and type two diabetes by examining the antioxidative and anti-diabetics potentials of some widely consumed Chinese and South African indigenous teas. The result of his research will help diabetics to choose diabetics to choose the anti-diabetics teams and to develop this food supplement. Let me highlight that uh, two articles have been published and there are five that are also uh, being reviewed for, for, for publication. Dr. Chauchin, if you are connected, if you'd like to give a few words to the audience, please, the platform is yours, Dr. Chauchin. Uh, prof, he was here, but I don't see him here anymore. Thank you very much, uh, Sally. And I think that's you done. Yes, that. Uh, thank you very much. And once again, congrats to all the new doctors and the supervisors. And to new doctors, I will say, remember that the hard work has just begun. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Prof Kana, for that marathon session, which is uh, hats off to the School of Life Sciences for producing so many PhDs graduating this May in 2021. So I will, I know it's been a long evening, but I'd like to hand over to Prof Lanarin as Dean and Head of School. Uh, Ade, if you would like to say a few words. Uh, thank you so much, Sally. Uh, thanks to you and the whole college PR team for putting this together. I think this is very incredible. And thanks to colleagues for attending uh, this event, um, especially colleagues from the school who have been at the school board the whole day and are still here. So thank you very much for your patience and for celebrating with our graduates. Um, on behalf of the School of Life Sciences, I just want to congratulate everyone, um, all the PhD graduates, uh, your families, your guardians, your loved ones, and the sponsors um, for everything that they've done that brought you this far. 
Um, I think it's indeed a milestone achievement um, in your academic career. And we as a school, we're very, very proud to share every moment of it with you. So we're very excited for you. Um, and we thank you not just because you study in the school or at the university. We also want to thank you for your contribution to the School of Life Sciences during your period of study. Uh, you've not only acquired skills or knowledge, you've also imparted knowledge during your period of study, um, either as a teaching assistant or as a demonstrator. So we're glad and we're grateful for your contribution to the school. Um, sitting here and listening to what everybody is saying, I, I can say it's been a very long journey. Um, I know you've had a lot of late nights. Um, a lot of people have shared tears. It's just that it's not mentioned in this forum when things are not going well, um, when the results are not coming along, once, when some experiment, your experiments are not turning right. Um, but you persevere and eventually you manage to get to, get to this point. Um, and I just want to encourage that now that you have the PhD, um, first, you need to celebrate. Um, and that is part of what we're doing. And, and take time to enjoy the success because you've earned it. Um, and save all that accomplishment that you've already, that you now have. Um, I know that is going to be difficult because you're very good at setting, uh, chasing deadlines and setting objectives and, and getting them done. But you need time out to um, retrospect and then sit down and set goals and chart the path forward. Um, especially for those who are still probably looking at what is it that they want to do post PhD. Think about what is it that you want to do what kind of impact do you want to make? Um, and what contribution do you want to make? And always remember that all the skills you learn, there's a lot of skills, not just about your um, topic that you've done. That's a lot of other skills that you've done that you can easily apply in anything you choose, whether it's academia, whether it's outside academia, uh, and so on. Um, so be ready to use all those skills, the research skill you've acquired, your leadership and management skills, your collaboration skills, time management skills, project management skills, critical thinking skills. These are all skills that you're going to be needing in any phase of life that you want to use, you want to devote into. And you can only succeed if you apply your mind and you apply these skills in every area that you, you go. Um, before, because of time, I'm going to end uh, because you graduate of life sciences, there's something I want to remind you of. Um, one is that you need to please be a good ambassador of the school wherever you are, because on the college as well as the university. And remember that everywhere you go, you represent the university, you represent the college, and you're representing the school. Uh, so we will want you to keep uh, flying the flag high, and we want you to always keep in touch with us so that we can see how you progressing in your, in, in your future career. And finally, I want to remind you um, about something you are familiar with as graduates of, of life sciences, and that is something about stem cells. Uh, and I'm saying that because you know that stem cells always differentiate. Um, and when stem cell differentiates, that differentiation always involves a process where the cell changes from a normal cell to a more specialized cell type. And this normally involves a switch from just cell proliferation into specialization. So I want to encourage you as graduates of, uh, of, of School of Life Sciences, um, in your, as a PhD graduate, that you go out there and be like a stem cell and differentiate yourself from others. Thank you very much. All the best. Thanks very much, Eddie. And I must just say, looking at you there, you always look so very comfortable in your chair. So I hope you've been sitting back and enjoying seeing all your PhD graduates from your school today. Very well. Um, just a couple more people I'd like to say a very short word. Um, the first one is our Dean of Research, uh, Prof. Neil Kurbanelli. He is the man who's ultimately responsible for making sure our college produces the most PhDs at UKZN, and I think he's doing a sterling job. So a few final words from you, Neil. And thank you, Sally. Uh, I'll probably do the least in all of this. I just approved the final degrees, but it's, it's lovely to see the, the graduates in person. You know, I signed up on all these forms. 
And I must say that all the forms that I sign off on, and I think Prof Khanna also said this today, they're, they're of the highest caliber. And you know, it's very heartwarming to see where uh, examiners who are internationally acclaimed say that our degrees, our, our students are amongst the best in the world. So it's, it's very nice to actually hear that. Well, good evening, fellow colleagues, friends, and, and family. Uh, graduation, as I said, is one of the most special days in my annual calendar. And I've been attending graduation now for over 25 years. In fact, uh, 20 years ago, when I was getting my own PhD, I remember I really nearly missed standing on stage, uh, not to any fault of my own, but I ordered my gown and hat and uh, sash through a company. And at the graduation time, they didn't bring enough PhD gowns. Uh, so I nearly missed it. Luckily, I was well known in the faculty because I was a staff member at the time. And they came to our aid and they lent us some gowns. So, so this brings back some memories. It's really, really something I look forward to, to celebrate the achievements of, of the students. And first, my heartfelt congratulations to all those who received their degrees, not just the PhDs, but all the bachelors and the honors and the masters as well. Uh, you've done very well and, and earned your degrees. But a special congratulations go to, to these PhDs who are getting the highest degrees today, the Doctor of Philosophy. Um, you've now become specialists in your particular area and have gained the license to go out there and make your mark in industry, academia, government, and all spheres of life. Um, having a PhD earned you the right to have the title of doctor, uh, but you'll find that this novelty soon fades away. But what stays with you is the respect that you receive from others, and that will, will remain with you for a long time to come. And you'll be surprised at how at family gatherings, <coughs> other functions and events, people will call upon you, Dr. So-and-so, to say a few words of wisdom. You have now become a role model for others, uh, a function that not only comes with great privilege and honor, but also with great responsibility. So carry yourself well, always do the right thing, and be the person that we all know you are. So well done to all of you once again. The college is very proud of your achievements and we're very proud to be associated with you. Go out there and make your mark in the world. Thank you, Sari. Thanks very much, Neil. Um, that brings us almost to an end. So I'm just going to let Prof Modi, who is our DVC and head of college, uh, to wish you all well and say a final goodbye. Albert? Oh, thanks, Sari. Um, I don't want to spoil the words of wisdom that have been said by everyone from the first speaker, the, the graduates, um, and the, the supervisors, and uh, the, the leadership uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, all I want to say to people is that uh, the college leadership thought about this event. Um, it, it was a, a short conversation among us a proposal, uh, we did not have enough time to think about it, but we are so lucky to have a, a woman like uh, Dr. Sally Frost, who was able to think about it um, and put something together. And here we are today. Um, it, it's a virtual graduation at UKZN. And of course this event is virtual, but uh, uh, it is real in your minds. Uh, I'm very, very happy as a college DVC, and I'm speaking on behalf of the college leadership as a whole, that we are able to give uh, people this moment um, of celebration uh, outside of the UKZN celebration, which is virtual. So we, we, we are very grateful, and we understand that uh, people need a real graduation. It will happen one day. You know, COVID-19 has created conflicts, heartbreaks, disappointments, and, and many people in the world think very little uh, about what is positive uh, because uh, every time you mention COVID-19, uh, something negative comes and in fact, even a, a shock and a fear. This is a moment of celebration, whatever there is in your life that is not worth celebrating, just focus on this moment. And, and colleagues, uh, a publication is a very good thing, but you know, in the world today, publication is not just sending your information to the journals world wants to hear about this. Yesterday we heard about one of the graduates saying that she's going to be on SABC in the morning uh, to talk about her research and she was there. So I encourage people and your supervisors to speak out about your, your research, tell the world. Those of you who follow the research about coronavirus, 
you hear people um, are talking about their research uh, outcomes even before they go to the journals and some high level journals are under pressure to, to tell the world about what is happening. So please publish, but also publish widely and inform the world and uh, inform people who are making decisions. I thank everybody who came today and I invite um, those who can join us again tomorrow uh, go ahead, continue celebrations, and have a good night. Thank you very much again, Sally. Thanks very much, Prof Modi. Um, that brings us to the end of tonight's celebration. We have recorded it, so I will send the recording to all of you along with the program. Um, and it just remains for me to say goodbye. If we still have graduates with us, uh, if you'd like to, unmute yourselves, turn on your videos, and let's just see you all and hear your happy noise and we'll end it on that happy note. So if all graduates, please unmute yourselves. And say, say Allah, Allah. Allah. Say, say well hooray. done to yourselves. Make some noise. Hooray. 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 Everyone, everyone. <laughs> Thank you all the profs. Thank, Thank you all our supervisors. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you all you. my graduating colleagues. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Everybody. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody.